All right, this is uh, Tech for the Nerds. I'm your host, Kenneth Rayner. This is episode seven, part two on Google Hangouts. We're gonna go ahead and jump into doing a Google Hangout. And so um, last time I showed you ways of accessing Google Hangouts, either you could access it through your Google Plus account by creating a Hangout here. You can access it through your um, Gmail account by looking onto the left-hand side. You can access it through that little um, the icon on your desktop app. You can also access it up here. And another really great feature that I'm going to show you guys is you can create events where um, your event can be a Google Hangout and it shares it and puts it on your calendar. So for example, here's how you would create an event and you see I have an upcoming event here and I've, I'll go ahead and open it. So this is the upcoming event and I've shared it privately because it's shared with the EdGeek team. And here's some um, notes that I've said and the details. And then um, you also can say you can share the event further. And then what, and I'll show you what this looks like in your calendar as well. So, um, do, 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 and it automatically puts it in your calendar. And then when people say yes, it puts it in their calendar. And then when the time comes, the reminder pops up. Um, saying, hey, a Google Hangout's happening, um, and you're going to click on it to um, join the Google Hangout. So let me see if I can find it. Sorry, guys, I have crazy calendars going on today. Here it is. And it pulls up automatically. So when I clicked on it in my calendar, go back. So if I, when I clicked on it in my calendar, it automatically brought it up for me. So there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and start a Google Hangout so I can show you guys some of the tools, the really great tools. So I'm going to initiate it through Google Plus and I'm going to be kind of lame and hang out with myself because I have my iPad right here with me. Um, so I can um, just do this so I can show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do a video call with my iPad and um, it's going to sound a little reverberated because of the microphone and I'm going to have to mute everything once it gets started. So I'm just going to shrink this window and make sure that my iPad is going. There we are. And I have everything muted right now, um, except for the podcast. So that's why I clicked on that little button at the top because it mutes it. Let me go ahead and fit this in the screen. I don't want to unmute anything right now. Um, but here is um, essentially the window and you can see me now moving the camera. So that's from my iPad. And I'm gonna don't want that to keep popping up. All right, so what I want to quickly show is some of the tools. So here's where the people will pop up on the bottom. Um, so remember, you're limited to 10 people. And then up here at the top, this is where you can invite more people to this phone call. So remember, you can invite up to 10 or 15, depending on the type of account you have. Here's how you mute, mute your um, microphone. Here's how you mute the webcam, which is good to do when you're first starting, if you're um, starting with a school group. And then here's regarding bandwidth and then more settings of setting your default and things like that. And notice I don't have a um, webcam plugged in, so um, it's not recognizing it at this point. Then you're also able to mute um, the people that are in the meeting with you. So um, actually, and they've muted themselves. So let me unmute this and see how I can mute them, which is a really nice feature. Um, then uh, the toolbox. So here are some of the things, um, the apps that are integrated into Google Hangout. And you have to download these um, one by one. So the one that I highly recommend is the chat. And I'm going to turn this away because it's weird seeing myself. I get to see some Florida outdoors a little bit, maybe. Um, is, so going back to the chat, I recommend this one a lot because a lot of the time when teachers get on there, um, their speakers are turned down or microphones not working or something like that. And this way you always have that open line of communication so that um, you can reassure that everything's going to be okay and you will walk them through this kind of thing. Whenever you open up a chat, you um, whenever you do an app, you can close it again. So um, that way that turns it off. So kind of wax on, wax off thing. Next one is screen share. This is really great feature. So if you turn that on, you're capable of um, it identifies the screens that you have going on, and you can click and share one the most appropriate one. Um, then there's the capture one. That's just a fun one, kind of like a screen capture thing. 
Another one is your Google Drive. You actually have access to your Google Drive, which is really cool. Um, so think about those times where you needed that sit down meetings with to work on a um, grant to edit a grant with somebody. Now you can do this using Google Hangouts, um, and they make it really simple. Go ahead and turn that off. This one is one of my favorite ones. This is a remote desktop. So this will allow me to access the other individual's desktop um, so that I can, um, maybe I can open a folder where I know there's a document kept, um, or I can also, you know, access the speakers or the microphones. And um, so that helps out a lot. So, and they have to approve me to do it. It's not like I can just go onto their computer and start doing it. So I would imagine this would be the teacher's name. I would say, it would say help teacher and you'd click it and then they would get a notification saying that you're wanting to help them. Another cool one, this is just a very fun one, especially with school groups, is Google Effects. And so if you imagine I had, if I had my webcam on right now, you would see it better. Um, but essentially what happens is that um, if you click on one of those things, and I'm trying to get my webcam, see if I can get it plugged in quickly enough for you guys. Do, 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 do. Plug it in, in, and it's just reading the device, so it's just got to install the little fun drivers, and once that does it, we'll come back to um, Google Effects once that starts going. Then other ones is the Hangout Toolbox. This one's a really nice one to have um, because it provides the tools, the helps, and all those things. Um, and then there's other ones that you can add on there. And um, if you remember, I showed you that list of um, tools to use for educational Hangouts. This provides some reasonings for using, like, SlideShare is a really great one. Um, Symphonical is a really good one. Um, YouTube is um, nice to have. Um, and then um, Kaku for Hangouts is a good one to have as well. Um, so it is installing that. Still installing. So that's all right. Um, so what's really nice about this is it's really intuitive and uh, remember you're able to have up to 10 people here and I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be a three-part series because I'd like to do Google Air by itself so because there's a lot to do with that um, so with out um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, end this one and then we'll um, do the Google Air next. So if, remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, send me an email. And that's it. And here's the little hang up button. So you just click that and your hangout is over.